Six weather forecast. Hi, everybody. It looks like a uh, shrimp boat pulled up out there near Snoopy's. <laughs> Look at that. I haven't seen that before. Nice shot, nice breeze, hazy skies, and warm temperatures. All right, how warm was it today? 89 ridiculous degrees, 15 above normal, and way more than that, that's 18 degrees there on the low. From 55 normal to 73 is what we ended up with. And a long way off that 28 happened back in 1890, closing in on two inches below normal. We'll have all the drought numbers and the lake level numbers as we normally do on Thursday. So that'll be coming up tomorrow. 82 right now, south southeast winds at 29 miles an hour. That's where the haze is coming from. That's why the fog's not a factor. 76 in Refurio, but 96 in George West. It's 98 right now in Freer. Well, it's 82 here in Corpus Christi, and we had wind gusts today to 43 miles an hour, 38 out in uh, Flower Bluff and near the water there, 36 in Ingleside. So it was blowing today, and uh, it was a deterrent to otherwise uh, what would have been a beautiful day. All right, so fog along the coast, uh, and as it starts to move inland, but the air keeps it stirred up through tomorrow morning. So just like this morning, not a big issue. And uh, then it starts to become an issue tomorrow evening around 7 before the front hits and then whoop, it's gone. So not to worry on Friday morning as far as fog goes. All right, here we go with the uh, frontal system waiting in uh, North Texas for this one to come in out of Arizona. And uh, it'll be coming in here tomorrow night. So it's going to be racing eastward on the heels of a powerful jet stream. It's going to cause severe weather up in the uh, southern plains. For us, that'll just create another windy day. A little disturbance goes by and uh, delivers a few showers just outside of our Chris 6 viewing area and the coastal bend, but cloudy in the morning, maybe a little drizzle. That's what the green on the map indicates. And then mostly sunny skies, except from Rockport up to Sea Drift tomorrow afternoon. So temperatures soar as the winds start to come down. Here's our front. We talked about stray showers in our northern counties. I still think we'll see that. May pick up a stray shower elsewhere too, but it's not a big deal because this is at 8 o'clock at night and unfortunately doesn't have a lot of uh, mid or upper level moisture to work with. So it's not going to unfortunately be uh, a meaningful rainfall except if you're right underneath it. By uh, 5 o'clock Friday, we're talking all kinds of sunshine. Here is the uh, map and again, you can see the change from uh, yesterday to today's forecast. At 10 o'clock tomorrow night, the front will be through. And there'll be this uh, green area extends a little bit further south than it did yesterday. So I'm thinking that we will see a, a stray shower here tomorrow uh, from Corpus Christi northward. Then all the action moves north and east and then drier air comes in. And it's going to be gorgeous here by the time we get to uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and into Monday. Severe weather up in the Red River Valley. For us, there's a marginal risk right along Highway 37. That does include uh, Corpus Christi. This will be tomorrow evening. So the winds, they look like this across the area. It's going to stay breezy to windy here overnight. Then the winds uh, start out uh, pretty breezy in the morning. They start to lay tomorrow afternoon, and then they turn northerly and get gusty here by tomorrow evening. The front comes in at 9 o'clock. Fire weather alert is out uh, for um, the entire area here till Friday and here is a look at the seven day forecast 72 tonight. That's right. 92 smoking hot tomorrow 56 and 80 on Friday 51 and 81 Saturday 57 and 79 and still outstanding with sunny skies and low humidity on Sunday that starts to turn around on Monday of next week. Michelle, it's looking good.